Hello and welcome to another episode of Will Weekly. Today we're going to review two films, Star Trek Beyond and Jason Bourne. So let's get started. Let's start with Star Trek Beyond. Here's a clip. What the hell is this? I know why you're here. Why we are all here. In this Star Trek film, the Enterprise goes on a rescue mission to the strange planet and once it gets there, it gets ambushed and attacked by a swarm of alien ships led by the villain Kral. Uh, he's played by the actor Idris Elba and let me tell you, this villain is no joke. The Enterprise gets beat up like never before and it crash lands on the strange planet. All right, let's start with the good parts of this movie. Director Justin Lin, known for Fast and the Furious 7, does a great job of balancing action, comedy, and some dramatic moments as well. The dialogue is witty and funny, and overall, it's just a very well-balanced film. Also, there's some really interesting new characters like Jayla. She kicks butt. She kicks some serious ass throughout the whole movie. I even think she does some capoeira moves there here and there. She does like an armada. She does a martelo. She is kicking butt throughout the whole movie and I enjoyed that. Also, early on in the movie when the Starship Enterprise gets ambushed, it is one of the most intense scenes I've ever seen in a Star Trek movie. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I was like, wow, this the ship is really taking a beating and it felt real so Justin Lin good job in directing that scene it was no joke now on to the bad or what I really didn't like too much about this movie is that the beginning was so good that one scene where the Starship Enterprise is getting beat up is so good that the rest of the movie just couldn't keep up the middle part of the movie is, is funny is entertaining the ending was kind of cool but the thing is once they found the enemy's weakness it was pretty much over like this all right so I felt like the ending could have been a little bit more suspenseful they definitely didn't leave the best for last because like I said the beginning was really good but overall it's a solid Star Trek movie not as good as JJ Abrams Star Trek probably better than the second one but overall I do approve it so out of five stars I'm giving it a solid four stars for this film it is a good addition to the Star Trek universe so it's definitely Will Weekly approved all right, now moving on to Jason Bourne. All right, for starters, Bourne Ultimatum is probably one of my favorite spy action movies of all time. So I had some really high expectations going into this movie because I wanted to see where they went with this character. Bourne has to be put down. I know what you did. What was the purpose of your visit? Business. So this film takes place 10 years after Born Ultimatum and Jason Bourne is now making a living in some kind of underground street fighting ring which is kind of cool and sad at the same time. In the meantime, the CIA gets hacked and the hacker is connected to Jason Bourne. Okay, this time I'm going to start off with what bothered me about this movie. Now, I was hoping they were going to reveal more about the past of Jason Bourne, especially since at one point in this movie, he has these files that were, that were hacked from the CIA. But in the end, the movie reveals very little. They really don't give you too much information about what happened. So it's back to the same old thing. I feel like they just kind of took parts of the previous movies, repackaged it, and put out this movie but it's just not as good as the previous ones and you learn very little about his past which as a fan like me I've been watching these movies for years now is very frustrating it's like these movies always leave you with more questions than answers so it's like enough already just like revealed what happened to him what did he do what kind of missions was were he on like uh, come on throw me a bone already also another thing that bothered me about this movie was the shaky camera now shaky camera usually doesn't bother me too much born ultimatum had some of that as well but this time they kind of went overboard a lot of the camera is all over the place and i felt like i could have enjoyed more of the action if the shots were clearer and they used more let's say steady cam work 
But the film wasn't all bad. There's a lot of good things to this movie. For starters, Jason Bourne is still a badass and he kicks ass throughout the whole movie. So that was good to see. Also, I like how they involve situations that are going on in the news right now. Like let's say the situation in Greece. That was also a part of the movie which made it feel very realistic and it was very well done. So that was really cool. Also, the best part of the movie was the end with the chase scene in Las Vegas. It was impressive. It was probably one of the best chase scenes I've seen in a long time. Probably one of the best chase scenes in a Jason Bourne movie. So that scene alone is worth the price of admission. So overall, I was a little disappointed in this film. So out of five stars, I'm giving it three and a half. And I'll give it the stamp of approval only if you're a fan of the previous films and you're a Jason Bourne fan. Because if you're a new viewer and this is your first Jason Bourne movie, you will probably be lost. Okay, looking ahead to next week, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be covering this film. Check it. I can't wait to show you my toys. We're going to the swirling ring of trash in the sky. They walk in the park. Easy peasy. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> Biggest boss and I've been a trillis. I'm a bigger problem when I quit the sprillis. Kicking in the dog for suicide squad. Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. Suicide Squad, that movie looks crazy and I can't wait to watch that. I'll probably be covering that next week. Well, that's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Did you watch the two films I reviewed on this episode? Leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and please subscribe. That's all for today. I hope you guys are doing great. Peace.